My milkweed brings all the monarchs to the yard. That's gonna make sense a little bit later in the video, but right now we need to talk about something far more dark. Terrible things happen in the place we now call Redwood National and State Parks. For example, after we clear cut like 95% of the old growth forest, turning this beautiful landscape that once looked like this, into a densely packed tree plantation with only one or two species of trees that looks like this. And these tree plantations, the trees were so thick that they blocked the sunlight from reaching the forest floor so the understory plants couldn't photosynthesize and so they stopped existing. And when they stopped existing, a lot of the insects and birds that depended on those plants stopped existing here too. If there's no hound's tongue in the redwoods forest, then there's no place for the forget-me-not moth to lay its eggs. And if there's no vine maple growing up in these thick forests, then there's no place for the elegant sheet moth to lay its eggs. These are host plants and these moths need their host plant. Think monarchs and milkweed. If you plant it, they will come. And if you plant milkweed throughout your spaces, then you can celebrate and sing the song. My milkweed brings all the monarchs to the yard. And if you want to learn more about host plants and how you can build relationships between animals and plants in your spaces, go to jumpstartnature.com slash podcast. You'll recognize the host. And episode one is titled Yard of Your Future, where we have some experts that come in and explain to people how they can help biodiversity in their own little spaces, even if it's just a balcony or a porch. If you would like to learn more about what we do, we help the forest heal itself. Go to redwoodsrising.org. Redwoodsrising.org.